Here's the answer to today's CenturyLink question of the day. If you didn't win, don't worry. We'll do it again on the next Morning Scramble. Yeah, well, listen, we don't have to do it again uh, today because we have our winner, Margie. Congratulations. Uh, you got the answer to the question, and you paid attention, and you also, of course, fulfilled your moral obligation to watch the morning scramble uh, because the neighbors would say nasty things about you. Danny Zalisco presenting Chris Christofferson to a whole bunch of people, as a matter of fact, Friday at the Celebrity Theater. But Margie, it doesn't matter about those other people because you're going to have some great seats at the Celebrity to see what an entertainer he is, Chris Christopherson. Wouldn't you say so, Mark, having played yes. a few of those songs? Yes, yes. Mark Mayfield, Jerry Brown, our guests. And Mark, I have one abiding question that from one broadcaster to another, I have to ask you, and I'm afraid that I have to share it with the audience. Yes. You have had a career how long here in the Valley at KSLX? At KSLX, 10 years, 35 years in the Valley. Yes, okay. Mark, why do you want everyone to get in bed with you? I want them to get in bed with me for the sixth time. They get food Excuse and me. money. Most of us are happy with once. <laughs> no, 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 sixth time. Food, money for St. Mary's Food Bank. Yes. <laughs> you don't mind. You don't mind in any way asking for abundant rewards for someone to get in no. bed with no, you. No, no, no. <laughs> Come on down, get in bed with me and help. Mark, me. explain yourself, you tawdry broadcaster. All right. In the tardiest way I can, Get in Bed with Mark is the sixth annual food drive for St. Mary's Food Bank. We've teamed up with Debbie Gaby and Sleep America again. We're going to go out to Albertson stores all around the valley, picking up food and money. And then what we're going to do is give it to St. Mary's Food Bank. There's a tremendous need. We can fill that need if people get in bed with me. They come out, I'm on a bed, on a flatbed truck in front of Sleep America. Oh, I'm fully aware. As a matter of fact, it was one of the shocking experiences. The state legislature... <laughs> almost passed a law yes. against Lisa and Angela and Pat <laughs> all being in bed with Mark at the same time. Yes. And uh, I read about those in, uh, in, in some romance novels. Yes, you But did. it was the first time that I ever felt good about doing it for charity. <laughs> Especially Jerry on Brown, are you sure you want to be a part of this company? I mean, after all, TV and radio guys <sighs> together, and then a legitimate person <laughs> like you. Yes. We've been in the bed with this man for several years. Uh, yes. Six, six, yes. six years, uh, we've raised over a half million meals in the six years for uh, home for um, the hungry of Arizona one in four children um, go to bed hungry in Arizona it's a horrible statistic it's something we're trying to remedy and it's something that the folks at KSLX and Sleep America have really helped us okay with. but tell us who you represent I represent St. Mary's Food Bank um, we're, uh, we're the hungry of Arizona and the folks who uh, you know there's just there's just a lot of people out there right now um, it's, a, it's a tough time um, we are di distributing more food than we ever have before, and uh, all the folks who helped us out in November and December with our holiday food, that's kind of that supply has been exhausted. So we're hoping to we're, we're hoping to restock, and, and events like this really help us. Yeah, you know, we have to remind people uh, on the air, radio and television, all the time about statistics like that. But doesn't it still shock you when you hear about one in four Arizona children going yeah. to bed hungry? Yeah, I mean Arizona children going to bed hungry, senior citizens going to bed hungry. People have to worry about keeping a roof over their heads and whether or not they're going to have food for their families is just wrong. But we can do something about it, and that's what we've been doing with the Get in Bed with Mark Food Drive with St. Mar uh, Mary's Food Bank. Okay, Sleep so America. that nobody's confused. How does it work? How does this put food into the coffers of St. Mary's Food Bank? People come out to, the, we're going to basically, we're going to be at the uh, Sleep America store on Cactus up there by Paradise Valley Mall. going to be there for three days taking in food and money. We're also going to have trucks out at various Albertson stores. You drop off non-perishable food items, you drop off money. If you give us a dollar, we can give that to St. Mary's Food Bank. They can turn that into seven meals. But non-perishable food items are what they're looking for. And you can actually go to cancelx.com and download a list that'll show you what it is people need from at St. Mary's Food Bank. It's, it's the same stuff you'd expect to find in your own cupboard. The basics, pasta, beans, rice, canned fruit and vegetables, uh, uh, chili, things like that. Tuna fish, peanut butter and jelly, all those things, you give them to St. Mary's Food Bank, and after we give it to St. Mary's, within about 72 hours, it's on somebody's table. So it's a really good thing, and you see immediate results. And that's what we've been doing for the last six years. We're going to get out there and do it again this year. Well, and you've been so actively involved uh, with this program for so many years. I know you've been at St. Mary's, and, and you see that transition. And it is not only efficient, but it is wonderful to see how unbelievably fast the food yeah. gets from the donor 
to the person who needs it most. And the stories you get from people that come up to us on the food drive. There was a guy who was back from Iraq, had a hard time getting a job, went hungry. Rides his motorcycle, thank you very much, from Gilbert all the way out to 73rd Avenue and Bell with a backpack full of cans to give to St. Mary's Food Bank to pay them back for helping him. So the stories you hear, it makes it all worthwhile. Uh, Carrie and Chuck on KTAR, uh, they, uh, they're on as talk show hosts for three hours every day during the midday. And I heard Carrie talking yesterday about cleaning out her cupboards. She was getting some, some new cupboards uh, in, the, in the kitchen, uh, new cabinets. And she was cleaning them out and had all these canned goods. And she happened to mention at the time uh, that she was going to be giving them to charity. And, and uh, that would be a terrific yes. uh, motivation. Yes. Uh, just simply clean them out. You'll be happier that you have neater <laughs> cupboards and cabinets. St. Mary's Food Bank really appreciates it, though. Uh, and um, how many how many people do you serve in a year? I know you have those numbers. We distribute if if uh, it's kind of an awesome statistic. It's two hundred seventy five thousand meals a day. So we distribute. Say that again. It's two hundred seventy five thousand meals a day, and that's to ten of the fifteen counties in Arizona. So we are we are distributing in Central Phoenix. We're also distributing on the Indian reservations up north. We're also d distributing in Flagstaff and Prescott and all the places uh, that you can think of on the map. Uh, so St. Mary's Food Bank is a wide-ranging, it's the first food bank that ever started. We're in our 45th year this year. It's our 45th anniversary. And Pat, you've been part of St. Mary's Food Bank for as long as I can remember. And uh, I, we, we appreciate all you've done for St. Mary's Food yeah, Bank. Yeah, and you know what? Uh, when, you, uh, when you participate, as, uh, as Mark and I do as broadcasters, you forget that sometime we, uh, because of a falling out in business, could possibly be in that line as recipients, because that happens too regularly with these hard times that we're in. Mark, quickly, where are you going to be? We're going to be at the Sleep America store by uh, Paradise Valley Mall on Cactus. Okay, when? Tomorrow, through Friday. Go ahead, I dare you. Get in bed with Mark. Everyone does, you know. This is the Morning Scramble. I'm Pat McMahon.